Um, today's memory verse is about glorifying God. So let's take a moment and we can think, how might a firefighter bring glory to God? Or maybe how might a school teacher bring glory to God? Or maybe even a mom and dad. You can think about how all these people might can bring glory to God. Because God wants everyone to bring glory to God, whatever you are doing. And today's memory verse is found in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 31. So I'm going to read that right here and you can follow along here. It says, Whether therefore ye eat, or drink, or whatever, or whatsoever ye do, do all to the glory of God. So aren't you so glad that we have a Bible in English instead um, so we can actually read it? Because a lot of boys and girls don't have their Bibles in their language. But then some people, they spend years trying to learn languages so they can translate one Bible and to another Bible in a different language so boys and girls can learn about the Bible. They are doing what this verse tells us to do. They are glorifying God with their lives. And so glorifying God means to please God or to honor Him. And whether therefore ye eat or drink or whatsoever ye do. Um, that means that like when you're living life, whether you eat or drink or play or do chores, every single day, whatever you do, you can bring glory to God and do all to the glory of God. So God wants you to bring glory to him when you live your life to please him. And if you have believed of Jesus, that's amazing. And you can find ways to bring glory to God just by living your, by how you live your life. And if you haven't believed on Jesus, then you are not bringing glory to God. But God wants you to come into his family. It's that we can't do that because we have sinned. And sin is anything we think say or do that does not please God or breaks God's rules. We are separated from God because of sin. But then since God loves us so much, he sent his son down Jesus to come down and die on the cross for us. But then guess what happened three days later? He rose again, which means he came back to life and now he's alive and living in he heaven. And so that is wonderful. And so now we're going to play a super, super, super fun game. And how this game works is I'm going to pick an activity to do. Probably more something like chores. Maybe something we don't really enjoy doing. Because even though you might not enjoy doing something, you can remember this verse and to do all things to glorify God. So how don't we start out with sleeping? So can you think of something that you could like glorify God with while sleeping? Well, in the Bible it says obey your parents. So if your parents ask you to sleep and you do it with a really good attitude, then that is bringing glorify to God. Maybe you're washing the dishes. Well, maybe you could sing a song to God that you really like. Like maybe Jesus loves me, something you know. And so how don't we do those while singing, while singing the verse together? So how don't we start out sweeping? So let's all get up and we can put in the sweep the floor, okay? Whether therefore ye eat or drink, or whatsoever ye do, do all to the glory of God. 1 Corinthians 10.31 Awesome! Now we're going to do, how about washing the dishes? Okay. Wash the dishes. Um, ready? 3, 2, 1. 1 Corinthians 10.31 Whether therefore ye eat or drink, or whatsoever ye do, do all to the glory of God. 1 Corinthians 10.31 also, now we're going to do it one more time, and this time we're going to pretend to mow the lawn. Okay, ready? So you can get out your lawn mowers. Ready? 1 Corinthians 10, 31. Whether therefore ye eat or drink, or whatsoever ye do, do all to the glory of God. 1 Corinthians 10, 31. Awesome. I hope you have a wonderful day, everybody. Bye.